605. We're here with Connor McLeod of the Huron All-Stars Pee B team. Connor, you play both goalie and you also skate on the ice, right? What are, what are the, the positions that you play? Well, for when I'm skating on the ice, I play center or wing. I don't play a lot of defense, but I get a lot of defense in when I'm playing goalie. Yeah, that's plenty of defense, right? So how long have you been playing hockey? Uh, I've been playing for eight years. I played my first two years in New York and here. And then I went over, then I went back to live in Texas, and my parents were in the Army, so I didn't get to play a lot of hockey. Not a lot of hockey in Texas? No, but we did go to a Stars game when I was young. And then, and then we moved here, and I've been playing ever since. Wow. Then I know we had some of your New York family watching this weekend, didn't we? Yeah, um, Era my Gammy and my grandpa. They're from Vernon, New York, and I also have a lot of other family that I probably think we're watching. Is that important to you to have people watch you play? Yeah, I, I think it's important for everybody to have somebody watch and play and actually know they're going to be on the ice and know who they are. And you guys are really having have had a great season and a great tournament. Got the championship coming up here before too long, right? Yeah, at the starting of the year I was kind of a little edgy. I didn't know if we were going to win or we were going to lose, but we had a Rushmore tournament. We took second place in that, but we played a we played Billings, Montana, and we lost to them twice, but we, we we ended up taking second, and then we a, a, after we started to play state, or we started to play league, we kind of picked it up and went along as we went. Well, and I think once in league, you only had that one loss to Yankton, right? Yeah, and, and the Yankton, Yankton thought that they were going to play us in the championship. They said that at the end of the first and the second game. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they thought that was going to happen, too. They came in as second and had played you earlier. So what do you like best about playing hockey, Connor? Well, it's just you can play it anywhere. It's, you, don't, you don't have to have specific things. You just need a goal, a puck, and some sticks, and some friends. It's, it's like lacrosse. You, you don't need a whole lot. But the stuff that you do need, it's easy to get. And just, it's, there's never a dull moment when you're playing. Oh, I know. Once the puck drops, it's exciting the whole time, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you can get, you get nervous, you get a little angry, but other than that, there's never a dull moment. So how do you get yourself prepared to play, it, like in the championship? What do you do to mentally get yourself ready? Well, I just kind of sit there for a little bit and keep quiet and, and think about, and just think about other things that, that, is hap that have happened in my lifetime, like happy things. Find your happy place, huh? Yeah. And center yourself a little bit? Yeah, I kind of sit there for a little bit. There's one time I zoned out for too long. So you got a little too zoned, did you? Yeah. <laughs> so now your dad is also your coach. What is that like having your dad as a coach? It's, it's not, I mean, you, you know he's your dad and you're going to say dad all the time, but it's, you still can't predict what he's going to do. It's, it's just like any other coach. I mean, unless... You have, unless you get a lot of things, then then you could probably unless you get unless you have like a lot of stuff that he gets you, then you can probably predict what he's gonna do. But no, I, I it's hard to predict even when he's gonna do. Well, and um, when you're playing a game or when you're at practice, he's coach, right? Yeah, you always listen to him. He loses his voice every once in a while, but <laughs> <laughs> he loses his voice from overusing it. Yeah, we in in, in practice stuff kind of some drills are kind of. We have a few first-year skaters, so it's uh, first and second-year skaters, so it's kind of it's interesting. Practice, you never know what's going to happen. Well, and as a coach, you got to make sure the players can hear you, right? Yeah, and some, sometimes you screw around a little bit too. Yeah, well, that has, happens to be a little bit of part of your age, don't you think? Yeah. So, do you think you might coach one day? Maybe, maybe when I'm old and. And I can't and I can't skate as good as I used to. Maybe. How old is old? When I retire. <laughs> old, old, old enough where where I can't play any when I when I can't play hockey anymore. When I can't when I can't skate full speed. I bet you'll be skating and playing for a long time, don't you? <laughs> I don't know. It just depends on what happens in the years. You know, I did uh, yesterday. I started calling you Connor. There can be only one McLeod. From the movie, of course, right? Yeah. <laughs> but then afterwards, you were just shutting them down, not letting any in. So then we had to change it to Connor. There can be none. 
Well, it wasn't just me, it was my whole team. The time that they screwed up, I got their back, and the times that I screwed up or I wasn't there in position in perfect time, they, they'd get my back. So it wasn't just me, it was everyone, because a team can't just be based around their goal. It has to be based around everyone. Uh, excellent point. It is a team sport, isn't it? Yes. Well, Connor McLeod, thanks so much for taking time with us. Now, what are your numbers again so people can watch? Um, I, I'm 19 for skater, and I'm 33 in net. 33 in the net, 19 on the ice. Connor, thanks so much for taking time with us at Hockey 605. Best of luck in the championship. Thank you.